Yeah, the target for this year as a team is clearly to make sure we, we keep moving forward. Um, I would be very happy if we could again make the next step in terms of closing the gap to, to Red Bull and Mercedes uh, this year, similar to what we could, could manage last year. We are aware of the tight competition again that we will be in, uh, especially against the teams we were fighting with last year. But uh, with Lando going into his third year now, with getting Daniel on board as a proven race winner, with having the championship winning power unit at the back of our car, plus seeing the progress we could make again over winter as a team uh, with the car, but also in the way how we work together. I'm, I'm quite optimistic going to this season. At the same time, I think it's always important as well to stay, to stay realistic. Uh, but I feel there's a lot of energy in the team, a lot of commitment. So we will give it all again until the, the last lap of the last race. And then hopefully we can again fight as high up as, as possible. Uh, regarding this uh, pandemic, which is still full on, I think we all need to be uh, aware that it could be again a season where we simply have to be ready to, to adapt. But I think we have shown last year as Formula One that uh, we are able to do that. The most important thing as always is to make sure that whatever we do, it is safe uh, for our people and for all the people we get in contact with um, as, as uh, the traveling community. Of, uh, of Formula One, but I think with everything we have put in place already last year, together with Formula One, together with FA, together with the other teams, we have shown that we can do it in a, in a safe way, and I'm quite confident that uh, we will manage to put up a, a great season again uh, for our fans, uh, for our partners, and uh, for ourselves as well. Um, regarding the budget cap uh, being in place now, um, first of all, uh, it's not a secret that we were obviously very supportive from McLaren's side to get this budget cap into place uh, because it ensures us simply to get to a level playing field in the future uh, with the big spenders, which enables us then, uh, let's say, to do Formula One in a sustainable way, but also in a, in a competitive way. Uh, so we are very happy uh, with that. Uh, as a team, we prepared uh, for this budget cap since quite a while already, so a lot of energy went into this with a clear target uh, to see where we can uh, save costs in, a, in an efficient way uh, in order to get ready for the future. It's also clear that the ultimate, uh, let's say, aim is to make sure we protect as many jobs as possible because in the end, we are what we are because of our people. And uh, the competitiveness of a team is in the end defined by um, by our people um, and uh, I'm quite happy with the progress we could make so far uh, regarding the budget cap. It's still something where we uh, have to do some fine tuning in the next uh, five or six months, um, but I'm quite confident that we will be, we'll be ready this year already anyway because we have to, uh, but then also then especially looking towards the future.